What's up everyone? This is the lip step drill. So we're going to look at Marcus Kallstrom here, who's doing a very similar motion to the drill here. I consider Marcus the uh, king of the brace and the whip. Before Simon was around, Marcus was throwing over trees and throwing super far. So we're going to see how the motion's pretty similar here. The uh, front hip is pulling the shoulder through whipping the arm and then uh, we also got David Wiggins Jr. here who's basically doing an elephant walk just stepping through honestly I'm just sick of them not taking me serious <laughs> All right, so this drill is going to help teach you how your front hip or butt pulls your shoulder so if we go into like a elephant walk or the open to close drill uh, the target straight out this way you're gonna be walking perpendicular to the target so you want to take like a somewhat normal step so you're gonna actually lead with your center and catch yourself you're gonna push back and that's gonna pull Feel how your butt is pulling your shoulder. So you don't want to go too far where you can't really push yourself back. You don't want to step too short either. So it should be a nice step like Simon. Oof. And you don't want to step like that. You want to lead and catch yourself. So your upper body leads and then you catch and push back. Looking at it from this angle. Take your little walk. So everything should be winded behind. And then that push is going to pull your shoulder through. So a common mistake that I'll see is that you only push the hip and the upper collapses over. So it look like that. It'd be hard to push yourself back or another mistake would be stepping too far over or too little which probably isn't an issue but you want to get a nice step and so when you're pushing this direction the counter is to go the other direction. It's just like walking in reverse or walking. So another thing that this can help with or what you can do with the rear arm if it's messing you up is it's basically like a backstroke so it's going to put you behind the hip here with the shoulder so you don't have to do the whole arm it's just this is moving around this hip and that's going to help pull this shoulder back and then the front side pulls the front shoulder. So it's almost doing the same thing that you're doing walking. So it's going to pull it back, back. Oh. 
And so this is kind of like a progression to a heel pivot. You're just not going to push so hard off the ground that it's going to leave the ground. It's just going to pull it into a heel pivot. So start open, move this around, let that swing back. So it should help you with the left arm not trying to get it in front of you too much. We're punching down, it's it's a fluid motion. Be formless, shapeless. Now water can flow, or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Flying in another year, heart never holding fear. Obviously, there's no despair, probably in open air. Open up, it's time to shot. Master keys, open locks, 37 spins. Here we go again. Thank you, God. Grateful for another shot. So, so this is rotating just like you're walking. You're not trying to spin your hips around. You're just creating a force and moving. And that's going to move your hips and everything in an arc. So it's not trying to like twist the hips a lot, it's just pushing that front hip back. Mm. So let's take another quick look here at Marcus and myself. So here's the step and the push back and whip. Boom. Now look at uh, Double G and myself. Look how we're moving everything pretty similar. So we both actually take a, I take like a little fake step with the left foot there. And then I step. see uh, the drill itself where I'm pushing back 